and I wake up to this guy standing in my room and he's got a revolver in his hand. I, I don't remember exactly the complete specifics of words that were said. Something was said to the effect, don't move or I'll kill you. Uh, like everybody else, I graduated from high school. I'm 18 years old. Um, I'm still living at my parents' house, but um, um, I spend a lot of time uh, over at my girlfriend's house. I got a job and I had a, re a regular income coming in and I thought it was just time, you know, that I got my own place. So now it's 1.30 a.m. Saturday morning on October 1st. For the first and only time that I could ever remember being with this girl, I went to bed before she did. And I wake up to this guy standing in my room so the first thing I do is I look at this guy, and so I want to notice, you know, see who, who, the, who is this fuck in my house and shit, you know? And the first thing I see is he's standing there and he's holding the flashlight like this, and he's got a revolver in his hand. Now, I, I don't remember exactly the complete specifics of words that were said. Something was said to the effect, don't move or I'll kill you. Then he tells me to roll over and get face down. He had some like shoelaces mm -hmm. in his pocket and he instructed her to tie my hands. So then what he does is, is he tells my girlfriend to get up and go in the kitchen and to get some cups and saucers. I think there were two sets of cup, cups and saucers put on the small of my back. He takes her off into the, into the living room probably 10 minutes goes by and he comes back in my room again. He puts the gun up to my head and I believe he pulled the fucking hammer back and I can hear the nice tightness of the fucking cylinder. So now he's been back, he's made two trips into my room and whatever else he's doing in the other part of the house, he's raping her, I hear some whimpering. I'm fucking 21 years old, that's my fucking girlfriend out there. This whole thing has been going on for 25 or 30 minutes, okay? I got a couple of friends. So they come over to my house and they pull up in the driveway and start beating on the door and ringing the doorbell and calling my name. And he's in the living room with her. What happened was they drove him off. I don't, he doesn't say anything. I don't know what he's doing. He okay. flees. I'm, this is why I'm telling you that he was only there for 30 minutes. Yeah. He got interrupted. My friends leave. So things are really quiet for like maybe five minutes. I don't hear nothing. So then I call out, is he gone? And she says, I think so. So I'm up and I'm out of those bindings and I reach underneath the mattress of my bed because he never knew that I was sleeping on a loaded handgun and now I got a weapon. I look in the garage, nobody's in the garage. I look in the living room, he's not in the li living room, and I look over and there's my girlfriend bound up on the floor. So I got to look at her and I got I, I to gotta see this look in her face. Br fucking brutal, man. Brutal. But I, I, I can't let her up yet because I, I, I don't know where this guy is. I'm not satisfied that this guy's not around. So I'll open the front door and I go out into the front part of the duplex and shit, and I look around on the street, stone fucking quiet. And at the top of my lungs, as loud as I could yell, and that's pretty loud, I drop the fucking F-bomb, hoping that he's gonna hear me running off in the distance, and then I just charge my weapon. And I'm hoping to this day, whenever I talk to him, or if I ever get the opportunity to talk to him, I've often wondered if, if he heard that. So now I come back in the house and I untie her. And I'm telling her, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. 